Magic of Chess Tactics second volume Attacking Techniques and Transformations Chapter 1 Attacking Techniques One of the main guidelines for the attacker is of course invite everyone to the party. This means that dynamical advantages like a lead in development in the opening should be transformed into should or could be transformed into a direct attack against the king and the more attackers join the party the better of course and it is best if all your pieces cooperate of course yeah one example is Judith Polga Pavlina Schillingerova from the Olympiad in Thessaloniki 1988 Klausida Meyer found it in Edward Winter's Chess History uh, column. And yeah, the, tw the 12 year old Judith Polga really had a strong Olympiad on second board, scoring 12 and a half out of 13 games. Many with brilliant attacks, like in this game. Okay, yeah, the, the, the Sicilian le leads to many sharp battles in the opening where White wants to. Uh, use his uh, lead uh, in development and dynamical advantage in the open Sicilian and black tries to exploit the fact that he has one pawn more on the two central files, so some static advantage. And this leads to very uh, fascinating battles. But here in the game um, you did play bishop b5. But it will get sharp very quickly, so... Yeah. Her idea is uh, to recapture on d4 even with a pawn, not to have this problem that black has more pawns on the central files. Which in a way is a static advantage, of course. Hopefully. Okay, uh, e5 may be a bit optimistic, I don't know. Uh, but Okay, maybe knight f6 is better, but okay. Yeah, how to inject dynamics now, how to use White's lead in development. Yeah, and Judy, Judith very boldly sacrificed a pawn to increase her lead in development and to give her better dynamical chances. Okay, how to continue? Bishop f4 also is, uh, is an interesting try, but e5 uh, yeah, it might be the most uh, direct way to use White's initiative. It takes away more squares and the dark squares on Black's king side can easily become weak. We will lead Caesars in several lines of the resulting um, variations. Judith develops forcefully. Now she wins back the pawn and increases the pressure on the dark squares. How to defend this black? Uh, defending is often more difficult than attacking for most humans. Knight f5 is best according to Klaus Dieter Meyer's analysis. Uh, this was a game. Harandi against Chandler, and now Maya gives bishop d3. Ah, and this leads to a more or less balanced position, but okay, I, I think that white might be still slightly better, as the dark squares around black's king are very weak, and this is of course a dynamical advantage, and opposite colored bishop favor the attacker, and uh, we will deal, of course, in more detail with the theme of attack with opposite colored bishops. It cannot be missed, of course, in, in a chapter on attacking techniques. Yeah, it will be done in a later clip. Yeah, but this already can be seen here. The dark squares around Black King, Black King are weak, and defender of weaknesses shall be exchanged as a guideline, and this means such defenders, yeah, such, especially such, such bishops who defend large color complexes should be exchanged to use the weaknesses later. Yeah, so knight f5 might be best. In the game, knight c6 was played. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah. Huda develops very forcefully her pieces to good squares. She brings into play all her army. Yeah, and now a critical position has been reached for the defender. What to do? Black must bring more pieces into play now. D5 is best. And critical. And then white still is slightly better due to the strong pressure on the dark squares. But it's of course not so clear. Yeah, and here we reach another interesting attacking problem or formation. The famous queen and knight duo in the attack on the weakened dark squares around the king. So white is, is, is better here, but of course not as much as in the, in the game. Yeah, and of course uh, this uh, uh, theme, Queen and Knight and the Attack, will be also dealt with in a later clip. Okay, yeah, so d5 is best here to bring all forces into play. This guideline is also valid for the defender and it's of course, yeah, it's, it's a good guideline. Okay. In the game, bishop takes e5 was played and this is a losing mistake. Black just doesn't have time to grab this pawn. How did uh, Judith Plopolga exploit it? Invite everyone to the party. So she played her sleeping queen's rook to the central file. Yeah, and now it's over. This brings another piece into the attack. It um, yeah, brings into play uh, options against the bishop e5 and the bishop e5 is an extremely valuable uh, piece which normally cannot be given but here black is already lost after bishop g7 bishop c4 white's attack is also uh, can also not uh, be parried and uh, in the game black took the piece, but now her extremely valuable dark squared bishop, the main defender of the weak dark squares around the king, is exchanged. And there is no defense left. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, no, then they would. Oh, I was too quick, of course. Oh, oh, oh you always have to be, be careful. That was the wrong order of moves, of course, and Black's queen could interfere with the attack. Uh, always careful. And yeah, White Judith, of course, had calculated everything correctly. Yeah, now Black has no defense left. How to refute f6? Yeah, just taking and rook a check and it's over. And uh, how to refute the game continuation, which, uh, queen f5. Yeah, taking and then. Uh, after, after taking on f8, Schillingarova resigned as she is now mated and uh, her dark squared bishop is indeed sorely missed. Yeah. Now all dark squares are weak and her queen side is not playing. So often also a bad sign for the defender and this is the reason why in this position d5 was the last chance to fight to bring the queen side places pieces into play and into the defense and Judith here played it very well and had calculated this most probably in advance already that with rook a e1 she should be winning this brings another very strong piece into the attack which in the end of course would have delivered uh, the mate and so the guideline invite everyone to the party bring all pieces into the attack is of course a very good one.